Hello everyone, my name is Jules and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, we met Kay Lumsey, we got our first golden banana, and we are ready to start our adventure. So without further ado, let's welcome. Let us enter World 1 and let's see how that fool donkey top is pro um, let's see how that fool donkey is progressing. Sorry about that. That's right, my scaly friend. The ape hasn't even seen his first golden banana yet. What? How did he do that? Very good, donkey. But you'll need more than brute strength to stop me this time. DK, gather as many golden bananas as you can before going through one of these portals. Did she say bananas or golden bananas? Collect 75 or more bananas, DK. You'll learn a banana medal. Okay, so that's, that's how we get the banana medals that Cranky was telling us about in the last episode. And that is the first warp pad. So... We could try and progress, but there is this gate blocking the way, so we need to climb this tree. One second. Oh, I, I complained about this in the last episode, but the camera is just so frustrating. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. Oh my god, why am I falling? Why do I keep on falling? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, am I gonna fall? If, I think that was the second time. I'm gonna fall the third time. Okay. And I'm probably gonna fall off when I jump. Okay, good. Yeah, so we don't actually need a ground pound on that one specifically. It just sort of does it for us. And we have unlocked the first cave in this level, world, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and we have... Three more banana coins, those are going to be useful. And killing some beavers, going through a cave. And here, okay, well, a bit of a cutscene. Showing us the main area of jungle japes. Hey, DK, help! Walk. K. Rules minions have hidden 25 gold bananas around this area, but you'll need you only be able to find five of them without the help of the other cones. Walk. So here, this is the most useful banana board in the entire level. Oh, you use it so many times. Just being able to get instantly through that cave is so nice. And here we unlock the two and. I kind of skimmed over this in the last episode, but this barrel here, it is a tag barrel. This is how you switch between the columns. So once we rescue Diddy, he will be where the red question mark is. And we'll be able to switch between them at any point. And also, they are also very useful for one other thing, so... See the speed here? Let's get hit by it. And see how I have three quarters of a melon? The melons are your health. I can jump in this tag barrel, and I am fully healed. So if you are ever low on health, regardless of if you need to switch between columns or not, it is very useful to jump in those tag barrels to refill your health. I think I said that. Um, I'm sorry. So that that is ammo, that is balloon. We will get to that later. First, we need to climb up this vine. Once we get up this vine, there is a character who... This one, oh, for, first... First there is a battle pad. Press Z to transport yourself to K. Rool's battle arena. Beat his goons to win a crown. Okay, so we can just press Z and then... Uh, we go into... And we, this level, we have Beaver Brawl and we have to... Not die. Um, I'm not very good at these. 
I hope that this won't take too long. Looks like I forgot to start timing. I'm gonna try and keep this episode as close to 20 minutes as I can. I might edit some of this out, I don't know. I'm gonna try and keep these episodes to as close to 20 minutes without going over. Don't want them to be too long. You know what we're doing? Pretty well. I say it right before I get hit by like the easiest enemy in the game. Oh my god, we had one second! We had one second left on the clock! We had one freaking second! That is so frustrating! Oh my god! Uh, why can't I do this? Why can't I do this? Seriously. How many tries is this going to take me? This isn't even that hard. Uh, oh, please, please don't game over. I'm gonna go back to the tag world to heal. We are doing it. Six seconds. And... Okay. Are we gonna do it? Okay, I believe in myself. I believe that I can do it this time. This, this is the try. I'm going to die right away because I said that. I... Oh my god. This is so... Okay. Okay. Please don't die at the last second, like like a few tries ago. Are we, we're gonna do it. We we did it. We did it. Oh my god, we finally did it. Oh. Oh, that was way harder than it needed to be. Or at least I sucked at it more than I should. Sorry, game designers. That was not hard. I just made it look that way. Well. Anyway, in, in this armory, we are going to meet one of my favorite Kongs. It's not playable, but Funky Kong. I love Funky Kong. Hey, been a long time, Donkey Dude. K. Rule's return is really a bummer, so the main monkeys here have to fix up some reptile kicking hardware. Check this out. I've got a real cool shooter that'll trash K. Rule's army and steer us for just three coins. Are we talking a deal here? Well, we have six, so we, we kind of need this. Yeah, so, so Donkey has the coconut shooter, all the call, you know. Looking good, Donkey Dude. Let me give you the lowdown and fetch the shooter. Hold Z to press and then right C, left C, I mean, and B to fire. You can also press up to shoot in aiming sight mode or first person mode. If you're firing, I, I, sorry, the text of the scrolls. Zero doing, Donkey Dude. Donkey Dude. Sorry, the, the text auto scrolls every bit of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> anyway, it's it's time to finally rescue Diddy. So Diddy is right up here, and we have our first golden banana of the area. And we have two in total. You might need Funky's help to get me out of here. Yeah, we, we just got to Funky right after we failed hardcore on the battle arena. Oh, I'm gonna do so terribly. Yeah, but these little things, they are ammo crates. And, oh, there's some bananas here. Yeah, and the, the other two is here as well, so now warp between those. And I think we activated the other three? One of the threes, I think? Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the, um, what's it called? The coconut shooter. So you duck and you press left C 
And yeah, there, there are some enemies like uh, this bee in Donkey Kong, they are called Zeners. Um, I'm playing so terribly. I'm gonna get closer. So that beaver is gonna respawn and kill me. Oh no, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, I got you, I got you before I got hit. Okay, yeah, we, we did. Um, oh, and I can finally show up what this balloon is. So, the balloon, um, you pop them with what you're done. Um, they're color coordinated by the columns. We'll find out. We'll, actually, we already found out what Diddy's color is. Diddy, Diddy has red, Donkey has yellow. Um, I am terrible at the shooting mechanics. Hang on, I'm gonna snipe this stationary target after I aim. The controls are actually really sensitive, so... Okay. We have one of them! Yeah, and that beaver respawns. So if an enemy is near you, you can hear it respawning, and... I actually kind of like that. So, uh, one thing... Like, when it comes to Donkey Kong 64 versus Banjo-Kazooie, like... I, I, of course, prefer this game, because... I mean, childhood game. I didn't play Banjo-Kazooie until I was 18. But... Um, in Banjo-Kazooie, the enemies don't respawn, meaning that the amount of health that you have is limited, and if you're terrible at platforming like I am, then you're gonna fall a lot. But in this game, they respawn, and they are your source of health, so I actually find that it's easier and a little more forgiving. Like, there, there are things that I prefer in Banjo-Kazooie over Donkey Kong 64, like... Here they went for, like, there, there are 200 golden bananas in this game and 100 jiggies in Banjo, and they kind of went for quality over quantity. And so some of the ones, like, I said this in the last episode, but I'm probably going to have to do some really frustrating golden bananas that you all are going to recommend or suggest that I do for you. Um, I promise I will make a serious attempt, meaning... After 45 minutes, I'm allowed to give up. That 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 is my deal with the frustrating old man. After 45 minutes of recording. Okay. Yeah, we we got hit by the beater. Anyway, time to get the second one. Did we, did we get the warp pad? Yeah, yeah. Th this warp pad is all, it's a little creepy. It's probably the one that we'll use least often, but I, I still like it. Actually, no, no, the five. The five is probably the one we'll use least often in this area. Ah, I'm jumbling up my words. Yeah, so, actually, can we, can we get the other one through here? Oh, oh, look, look at that N64 draw distance emulated on the Wii U. Yeah, I think that the N64, um, actually I don't, don't really know if draw distance is dictated by RAM, but yeah, so we have to get here, they, they actually kind of use the draw distance to create a gameplay mechanic, um, we'll get, um, ah. there's an item that we'll get later that really takes it turns the draw it turns the poor draw distance of the Nintendo 64 into a game mechanic. Yeah, so Diddy Diddy can He has the red bananas, and as we saw, all of the areas, all of that cave, we can get into the back finally. So I am going to switch to Diddy. And I'm going to end it off here. Oh, hang on. Squawk? Hello Diddy! There are five golden bananas here for you too! Walk. So I am going to end it off here. I am truly outrageous jewels. In the next episode, we are going to be doing some stuff as Diddy Kong. We are going to be having a good time. Anyway, thank you for joining me. If you have any golden bananas that you want me to do, leave them in the comments and I will get to them. If I can't get to them now, I'll get to them later. I, I will keep note. I'll keep a note of the ones that are suggested to me on my laptop so I won't forget. But anyway, this is truly outrageous. This is truly outrageous, Jules, saying goodbye. I will see you guys next episode.